Hello everyone. In this session, we will introduce the new feature of Simulator 2.1, Clothing Attribute Painting. Let's take a look together. To better explain this feature, I prepared this set of garments as a case study. Double-click to open the garment. You can see that the garment hasn't been painted yet. First, let's run the initial simulation of the garment to see its current state. You'll notice that the cloak and belt are loose and dropping off. Therefore, we will proceed to paint the attached strength in these areas. The work area for painting includes the toolbar, 3D model view, 2D pattern view, and paint property. Before painting, you can move the pattern in the 2D view for easier painting later. Simply left click and drag. Click on the top brush to activate the brush tool. In the property bar, there are four brush modes brush, smooth, gradient, and fill. Let's start with the fill mode. Attribute value means brush color value, 0 to 1, corresponding to weight 0 to 100%. The default option in SMD property is attach strength field refers to the influence weight of the volume axis field on the pattern. This is related to the volume axis field. We won't be covering this topic in today's session. Next, let's use the fill mode first. Black color indicates 100% solved for the pattern. Here we'll fill all patterns in black. For the cloak strap, keep it white so it remains completely fixed to the avatar. Next up is painting the belt. Using the brush mode, in brush mode, strength and fall off have been added. Strength represents the intensity of the brush. It is multiplied by the attribute value to determine the final brush color value. Usually leave this as a default. Fall off adjusts the degree of attenuation from the center to the edge of the brush. Start by checking ignore back face. This ensures that painting does not affect the back facing patterns. When unchecked, you'll see that painting is unrestricted. Now that we understand the basic parameters, let's proceed to paint the belt. First, adjust the brush size. Set attribute value to 1. Position it in the 3D viewport. Then fill it in the 2D viewport. Ensure the white area covers the waist area, with only the hanging part painted as black. After painting, click Smooth Piece multiple times to smooth the overall color. You can also choose smooth mode. After adjusting the size appropriately, brush to smooth. This transition effect makes the solving more natural. Finally, let's take a look at the gradient mode that hasn't been covered. Gradient high value represents the maximum value of the gradient. Drawing directly is the yellow brush area representing the maximum value area of the gradient. Holding control while drawing represents the minimum value area of the gradient, displayed in magenta. After drawing both ends of the gradient, press the Enter key to confirm. This completes the gradient effect. Next, let's look at some quick operations in the 3D viewport. The shortcut key B can switch between brush and selection modes. Press and hold B, then left click and drag left or right to adjust the brush size. Holding Shift switches the brush to a smooth brush. Click brush again to exit painting. Right click to select auto enable attach, which automatically check enable attach for all painted patterns. Pay special attention to the white patterns. The laces here haven't been checked for Enable Attach. Make sure to check Enable Attach for the painting to take effect. Otherwise, the default patterns are involved in solving. Finally, click Save. 
After painting, make sure to click Bind and Save. Now, let's run it again and take a look. You can see that the previous two areas are no longer falling. Note that the painting needs to be adjusted according to the solving effects. Now, let's add an animation to check it out. Ensure the pose is well fitted. We use the garment cache record mode. Enter the cache name. Adjust the solving parameters. After running, you can see that after turning around, the top fall off and twist significantly. And the necklace here is twisted. So now, based on the animation effect, we need to optimize our painting. Find the top pattern. Fill the inner layer of the top with white to make it fully skinned. The same goes for the necklace, make it fully skinned. Ensure all are checked with Enable Attach. Save and exit. Change the cache name to a new one. Run it again and take a look. You can see that the twisting and falling after turning around are no longer present. The necklace also remains stable. Finally, let's take a look at the cache playback effect. Of course, the function of attach painting is not limited to this. Different clothes and different animations will require different painting methods. So, this concludes the introduction to clothing attribute painting. Please like and share the video. See you in the next video.